love the sushi cups. They just come out. They're down now. That's in cool just a bit. So now let's garnish time. So now don't worry about the recipe. Um, the it's gonna be written under written out under the sushi cup video on each part. So it's your choice whether you want to garnish with yum yum sauce or Kewpie mayo. So I'll do one plate with the yum yum sauce. And I wish this had a squeeze thingy so it don't so like the QP mayo does. So I'm just gonna drizzle it like this. That's what I wanna do. Pour it in a spoon and just drizzle. really have to garnish with anything if you don't want to. Okay, there's that. Now we're going to put a little bit of sesame seeds. All the garnishes are optional. A little bit of sesame seeds. I have the black and like the tan mixed in this bottle. Okay, and then we're going to put just a little bit of green onion. Each one. There you have it, the sushi cups. Now here's the one with yum yum sauce. I'm gonna do the same garnishes, but just change out the yum yum sauce for kewpie mayo, Japanese kewpie mayo. And then green onion. Now I'm gonna put some slice some avocado on the side so that if they want avocado they can. Now if you want to chop up your avocado and use it as a garnish on top, you can. I've also got the pickled sushi ginger in a jar is this side. Now I gotta loose up one more. And a little bit of wasabi. I like wasabi, but Jamie don't. Wasabi is reminds me of horseradish. But kicked up a couple notches. And there you have that. This is the Kewpie's towel garnish on top. You can do anything you want. If you want a thinny slice, shred some radish would be cute. Um, chopped up finely bell pepper. Maybe red would give it some pop. Now I'm going to serve this with some Japanese cucumber salad and some pot stickers on the side. So there you have it. Sushi cups. <laughs>